welcome to lavanya chemistry classes in this session i am going to explain about important lesson p block elements mainly main factor of ammonia by haber's process in fact this is a very important method of obtaining ammonia and also this is commercial method to obtain ammonia popularly called as haber's process and also called as by the name as haber's batch process now we are understanding about the manufacture of ammonia by haber's process let us look at le chatelier principle this was a certain set of conditions that we follow so that we get good quantity and good quality yield of ammonia now what are those conditions how they are apply here let us look at in this manufacture of ammonia by haber's process the le chatelier principle is is used to obtain ammonia ammonia by the name of le chatelier he worked out he worked out chemical equilibrium he gives a such a good principle that is called le chatelier principle in this le chatelier principle states that if a constraint is added to the system at the equilibrium the equilibrium shifts in such a way so as to nullify effect of the constraint is called manfa le chatelier principle in this le chatelier principle these are the important conditions are maintained the principle is like nitrogen one mole of nitrogen reacting with three moles of hydrogen to form two moles of ammonia is formed this is a equilibrium conditions the heat is liberated at 92 kJ it is a exothermic reaction in this there was a certain conditions are there a temperature a moderate temperatures like 500 degree centigrade or 700 to 773 kelvin are used to the manufacture of ammonia and then a high pressures are required to use 200 atmospheres and then finely divided iron oxide as a catalyst in this finely divided iron oxide is in the powder form which creates more surface more surface are the are for the attachment that constant reacting particles and then promoter alumina and potassium oxide are the promoters which are used to those those are chemical substances which enhance the activity of the catalyst and accelerates the catalyst these are the conditions and the another one is the important condition that is removal of ammonia from the mixer as soon as it is formed in the removal of ammonia there was a equilibrium can be disturbed it is pump to the catalytic chamber again and again so it will gets liquid ammonia it is a very important method to obtain ammonia there in this chemical substances are not wastage no wastage of ammonium okay. this is a flow chart in this flow chart two inlets are provided one inlet nitrogen gas is passing through it and the other inlet hydrogen gas is passing through it in this one mole of nitrogen is and three moles of hydrogen is passing through the inlets it comes to the compressor in this compressor chamber these gases nitrogen and hydrogen gases are compressed at high pressures of 200 atmospheric pressures are required and then passing through the catalytic chamber in this catalyst iron oxide is used as catalyst and promoter as alumina and potassium oxide 
in this catalytic chamber is maintained at 700 kelvins in this catalytic chamber nitrogen and hydrogen will reacting to give glaciers form of ammonia glaciers form of ammonia and then it is passing through the condensed pipes containing water cold chamber these condensed this type of condensed tubes are used to cool the chemicals in this glaciers form of ammonia will be converted into liquid form of ammonia in the condensed tubes only 15 percent will be get and then this ammonia liquid form of ammonia is removed and equilibrium gets disturbed so nitrogen and hydrogen passing through the pump and then catalytic chamber and again and then again it will get more amount of ammonia will be get so that this process is used as manufacture of ammonia by Haber's process thank you